there will absolutely be an outbreak of another pandemic. First, maybe we define pandemic, and it's um, there's a few different definitions, but it's basically an infectious disease that is not normal, is well above normal levels, and it crosses country borders. So that's what a pandemic is. So you can have a pandemic of rhinovirus, which causes common colds, um, and lots of people in different countries will get colds, and that's a pandemic. Um, the last really serious pandemic the world faced that killed a lot of people had a big impact on mortality was um, about a bit over 100 years ago the Spanish flu we didn't have antibiotics and most people died because they got the flu they got a secondary bacterial infection there was no modern medicine no antibiotics and they died so we wouldn't expect that to happen again particularly since the, about 1980 1983 when we we invented PCR tests we've been much much better at detecting different pathogens different viruses so now we can detect and we have a huge effort out there which is growing at the moment greatly to detect these new viruses as soon as they pop up and instead of them causing a little you know a few people to get sick somewhere and then it goes away now we make a big we can make a big thing of it because we have the ability to distinguish these from other viruses it may be caused by an influenza virus or a new coronavirus, or it may be caused by a new pathogen we don't even know about yet, or what we call disease X. We hear all the time about emerging infectious diseases. Very rare for, you know, variants of influenza can emerge. This they, We get new ones all the time. We have a likelihood that new pandemic threats, that people call them disease X, are going to be rising on a regular basis. But overall, it's very unusual for a new disease to completely new disease to emerge it we get variants that we can detect and we can detect more viruses from other viruses so we're getting better at detecting these things history teaches us that the next pandemic is a matter of when not if because as you've said it's not a matter of if but when we we have this business model and we have our largest health institution and the other public private partnerships around it heavily directed towards this area of um, instilling fear um, over outbreak risk. The pandemic agreement is mission critical for humanity. And then, you know, the, the, the paradigm of lockdown, mass vaccination, get your freedom back, which we saw in COVID and which is very much planned through the, the pandemic agreements, the IHR amendments, etc., international health regulation amendments that are, have were voted on in May and the pandemic agreement of the WHO is under, um, still under negotiation. But this is the this is what they set out as the aim, is essentially to do what we did in COVID over and over again. Is it possible to prevent the next pandemic? Yes, if every country does what Australia did. The first thing you would do if you're following basic public health would be to ensure that these people have, you know, good micronutrient status, vitamin D, vitamin K2, vitamin A, zinc magnesium this isn't you know it's, this isn't fringe medicine this is basic medicine 101 there, there was a paper in nature which is you know, with the top scientific journal on earth a year or so ago pointing out you know if if everyone had normalized vitamin d we probably would have saved about a third of COVID deaths